Emotions ran high outside of Miami Valley Hospital. Inside, a different type of emotion as the president and first lady visited hospital rooms of the three patients from Sunday's mass shooting and more than 20 other survivors. So I would describe the the atmosphere environment in each of the rooms and even when we met with the broader patients who have been discharged is extremely emotional. Many of them came out and uh, started telling their story, what they recall from their experiences that evening. Hospital administrators described Mr. and Mrs. Trump as being in the moment when they interacted with patients. The first lady is uh, comes across as very caring and sensitive. She will reach out and touch a patient very naturally. And so that's what struck me. Hospital staff says the president provided encouragement and patients were engaged. President Trump also expressed appreciation to first responders and hospital staff. He had a, a very good command of the situation and knew the timing of the response and commented on that and that it was, to his knowledge, unprecedented how quickly, uh, particularly the police in the Oregon district, responded. And among those in attendance, six Dayton police officers who fired at the gunman, stopping the threat and saving dozens of lives. It was obviously an emotional time. This was uh, probably the first time since the event that both police, fire and the hospital teams came together. What was unique about everybody in that room is they all played an integral role in the events uh, that night. All of them heroes for sure. And you know, hospital staff said in listening to the survivors talk to the president and Mrs. Trump, one recurring theme was how their significant other jumped in to protect them Sunday morning. So that's just another level of heroism that we're hearing about tonight. Reporting live in Dayton, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5. Yeah, Karen.